If you grew up in Canada between the 90s to early 2010s, there's a good chance you know what the Concerned Children's Advertisers Program is. If you don't know, it was an organization that aimed to teach kids about important subjects like bullying and drugs through these really weird PSAs they would air on kids' TV networks. Their main goal was to try to like catch the attention of any child that would be watching, but what resulted were some of the weirdest fucking PSAs I've ever seen that do not get the point across and in some cases had the complete opposite effect. So join me as I take a bit of a nostalgia trip through these insane PSAs because I just, I just need to share my trauma with someone. So the program was founded in 1990 by Sonny Boots and David Mintz. Now obviously I wasn't around for these first PSAs, so we're just gonna kinda look at a few highlights. Like drug rap, for example. Listen up, mistress, and you too, sisters. Let's talk about something that's a real brain twister. Drugs, drugs, drugs. We are good, we are bad. Drugs, drugs, drugs. You know, I wonder if this is the song Dream was talking about in that one tweet of his. <laughs> now, despite their best efforts... Best efforts? Despite their efforts, this one didn't really get the point across all that well. Like, something about the chorus being drugs, 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 makes it almost seem like we're celebrating drugs instead of condemning them. Hey, you ever thought about taking drugs? No! Also, oh my god, the puppets in this one are horrifying. Think hard. The first hit's free, but you find me when you need more. What do you think? No, nah, this jerk's not worth the time. Oh my god. That one's terrifying. I don't know why they thought that would work to show that to kids. Uh... Ever wonder what a bag of crack looks like? In the last two years, over 5,000 people in Canada and the U.S have died from using crack or cocaine. I just want to get it out there. These PSAs were trying to target kids between the ages of 8 to 12. Like, I don't, I don't want to know what a bag of crack looks like. I just want to watch fucking Arthur or something. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. This fucking PSA. <laughs> this PSA made me believe that there was a small rodent-sized hippo in my house that ate breadcrumbs and chips, and I wanted one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how long I believed in house hippos until I eventually forgot, but holy shit. And wait till you see how this one ends. It's the stupidest shit ever. That looked really real. But you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. What the fuck? In what universe would a small child be able to understand that message? I didn't even remember that last bit. All I remembered was that there's a small hippo in my house and I want to catch it. And like, of course it isn't real, but could they not have explained that in a way that a child would actually be able to understand? And I know it isn't just me, because everyone I know who saw that as a kid thought it was real. It's, <laughs> instead of teaching kids to not believe everything they see on TV, they just ended up tricking an entire generation of Canadian children into believing believing that there's a small house hippo in their home. And I don't know, that there's just something really beautiful about that. Then in the 2000s, they started airing a line of PSAs called Stay Fit, Cause You Never Know, which is oddly threatening. I remember these ones airing a lot when I was a kid, especially this one where the kid's running away from the girls. I guess the whole thing is supposed to be like, oh, stay fit, cause you never know when you need to know, keep girls away from you, but. I was already doing a pretty good job of that on my own. They also did a line of anti-bullying PSAs like this one about how words hurt. Oh, there she is. She's such a loser. I know. Hey, what's up, loser? Fuck! Holy f He's dead! You killed him! You killed him! Uh, they also did these ones and what the fuck? So we're back to the fucking fear tactics I see. And it's supposed to be something of like, oh, you know, keep moving, be healthy. And it's like, yeah, sure. Why the fuck did he take his head off? Is that what I have to do when I dance? Do I have to, I gotta take my head off? I, I don't think it'll work as well as it did for this kid. Finally, in 2010, they made their last PSA called Media Monkey, which is supposed to have this kind of think for yourself message, but 
I didn't really care. All I cared about was the funny monkey. From what I can tell, they continued airing the PSAs throughout the 2010s and even rebranded to Companies Committed to Kids, which is a fucking terrible name. But in 2017, they ended up closing down for good. And it's not really hard to see why. As time went on, information became much more readily available thanks to the internet, and there just really wasn't a place for something like the CCA anymore. Also, like 80% of their PSAs didn't fucking work and just ended up lying to or traumatizing a generation of children. <laughs> but in a way, they kind of did their job. I mean, some of these for sure left an impression on me, like, clearly I'm, I'm talking about them right now. <laughs> but for the most part, I think it's best to just leave something like this in the past. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get moving. The message from concerned children's advertisers.